my welcome back to Jones clone back in a caravan. So if you saw our previous videos you'll see that we were looking at changing our caravan for an eight foot wide caravan. Now have we decided yes or have we decided no? So if we decided no, we were looking at doing some upgrades to the caravan. So just out of interest, I've actually gone and purchased a Horrock style window blind, which our Sprite doesn't have. It just has the pull down um, blinds and fly screen separate and if left down the springs get a bit weak so what I did was I was just looking on eBay and I found one that was ended up £30 um, and normally they're about 95 to £100 each through dealers so I purchased it and did a trial fit and um, what I should do is show you the video on this uh, and also let us think, know what you think whether upgrading to the Horrock style pull up pull down blinds um, would be a better option or go for new or let us know what you think. So you'll see a little video of what uh, happened when I put on this um, Horrock style blind that I uh, purchased and you can see the difference between them. Uh, let us know what you think and, and then we'll go from there. So I'll see you at the end. Yes, so uh, this is what is fitted standard in our caravan. Um, I think it's a Remus um, window blind. Um, this goes up, but when left down, the springs seem to stretch and don't fully retract. A whitish style fly screen. Yes, th they do the job, but if left, there will come the day when either the spring won't retract it or the spring breaks. So This is what I've done. As you can see, it is a slightly different blind. Yes, it is a Horrock style blind supplied by eBay, <laughs> as in it was new old stock from Yorkshire Caravans at Bawtree. Um, they purchased it a couple of years ago for a customer that never came back. So they put it on eBay for, I think it was 35, 40 pounds, something like that. I offered them 30, they snapped me hand off. So I uh, brought it, bought it, and I've trial fitted it, 
um, we took it to Bridlington um, the only thing any criticism that I can find of it is that at the sides there is quite well about a two or three mil gap um, and if you don't like buggy bugs in your bed then I'm just going to get some air conditioning ceiling foam uh, white one and just put it down the channel which is about five millimeters wide at the sides just to seal it up at the top and the bottom is sealed it's just the sides so other than that it's absolutely brilliant um, now we are thinking of uh, changing all the uh, the blinds so if you hang on with this a second I should just so there's the uh, the blind up close as you can see the fly screen is down on it I shall just get in there's the actual blind night various people or that I've seen on YouTube say that you should fit them the other way with the blind bit at the top and the fly screen at the bottom so that during the day or night um, or sorry the day at least uh, if the Sun comes around and you're reading a book or something of that nature then you have to close the whole blind to get rid of the sun. Now, in the front, I, I'll probably uh, think about that. But otherwise, I'm quite happy in the back to have them like that. Perhaps I'll turn them round in the front. Okay. As you can see there, it has the uh, blind at the bottom and the fly screen at the top fully sealing. The only issue that I've found is that I'm going to need a small amount of white sticky back foam in the side of them just to make it fully sealed. Okay. Hi and uh, welcome back. I uh, hope you enjoyed that little uh, montage of um, do we or don't we? I quite, I'm, I'm quite, I quite like the um, Horrock style blind. Um, just needs a little bit of uh, foam put in down the side just to stop the very small creepy crawlies getting through. Um, but let us know what, what you think. If you like this, give the old thumbs up. <laughs> and remember to subscribe. It helps the channel greatly. We'd much appreciate it. And just leave to say TTFN. See you soon.